uh, Atlanta native, now uh, living in Las Vegas, representing GameWorks. Uh, oh, I believe really? he's an EVO champion, right? For second four. So, second four, yeah. yeah. So uh, 2004, 2003, 2004. Before my time with EVO is what yeah. that was. 2004 four. EVO champion for Tekken, Mr. Jackie Tran, all up on the stage. He's going to be, uh oh, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to figure something out? Uh, they need help on stage. Around. Hey, uh, we need to flag down one of our staff members. Yeah, but back to Justin Wong. We had that little rivalry in Pokken. Yep. And then comes Wizard World Portland. We end up meeting before the top eight. Maybe in pools even. He beat me. In he pools did. In Tekken. He's got that, uh, you know what it was? He beat me with a bunch of rage arts, actually. Did he really? That was the biggest thing. Like. And did it, like, I, did it screw you the over? The worst part was, like, the first game I beat him, and I was like, all right, man, let me help this guy out. Uh -huh. And so I taught him how to use the rage arts. I was like, dude, you know you can use it, like, on reaction to absorb hits. <laughs> and he did. And then he did. Oh Big my mistake. God. Big mistake. I was being a nice guy. Rare moment. <laughs> yeah, and, and I think since then, like like we mentioned, you haven't been the same. You have not won a tournament since. You know, I mean, like, for some people, like, they, they look at it and they think that, like, it's weird that I'm not winning. But yep. historically, I always get second place. Evo to Nin, you know what I mean? Before that, like, yeah. I'm, always, I'm always right there, but I can't get the first. I don't know what it is. I feel like I've got so some kind of mind block. You're, you're, you're not the Tokido of Tekken. Tokido is the rip of Street Fighter. Yeah. Because I mean, you did it first. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Anyways. I actually beat Tokido in that Evo where I got second in it. Oh, yeah. And that's when you in know Tokido. Eight. He's one of those guys that will pick strong characters. Yeah, he was good, man. Speaking of strong characters, I think uh, I think Jackie yeah, Tran is uh, picking Dragon off. No way. Yeah. Did he drop Jack? Yeah, he's going for a stronger character, theoretically. Smart choice. Smart choice. Dragon off seems really good in this game. It definitely is. So here we got Leo for Fabama, I guess, and Dragon off for Jackie Tran. Yeah. So Fabama on the first player side, you guys see using Leo, watching from his perspective right now. Man, I I did not notice all these characters' hair moving. I, I noticed earlier with Steve Fox, and I was like, what is this? Like, <laughs> the hair always move like that? That's crazy. Okay. Oh wow. wow. Able to get that raw launch down forward two, and uh, Dragon off down forward two is actually a bit more interesting. It actually launches crouching opponents. Oh, oh yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right. It does. That's why it's punishable. That's why it's though. a lot more punishable. Yeah. Yeah, like a lot of characters like Law and Fall, they have safe down for it, yeah. but they do not launch crouching opponents. Correct. There we go. Jackie Tran looking pretty good, getting that first round. Good throw break there. So, have you been enjoying your time here in Chicago, in the Great Midwest? It's my first time here. Oh, uh, is it? Well, actually, no, it's not. I came here for Evo North in 2007. But Holy I, crap! I you went to Evo six. North. I got second place. I couldn't win the oh tournament. Oh my goodness! I couldn't win the tournament. But who won that one? Freaking 200 won or yen or whatever his name was from, from NorCal. NorCal. Wow. Yeah, we okay. Came, we came together. But the Cali boys got top two sick. Well, that was good. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I have, you know, it's my first time back here in like almost a decade. You know, we got some deep dish pizza last night, so that was crazy. Ooh, did that end your night? Dude, I had one slice and I was done. I was like, man. That'll do insane. it. Yeah, I see a lot of people that go there for lunch and they never come back. Yeah, I I would not eat that in the beginning before a tournament, put it that way. Yeah. Maybe at night when you want to go to sleep. That's about it. Yeah, man. nightcap. Kabala is looking pretty good here. Oh, he got the mix up. Big oh launch. And he's going to get the wall from this? Oh, oh no, not enough. Huge opportunity for Jackie. Wow, that was crazy. That's a little point for Obama, man. Jackie yep. having a rough start. Man, if he loses this, I wonder if he'll switch to Jack. I mean, it's probable. I think right now a lot of the, the players here are kind of really trying to find their groove, and there a lot of them are realizing, like especially the Jack players, that Jack not as good as he was in previous iterations of the game. That's what I keep We've uh, seen the, the master of Jacks, uh, Anakin, no longer using Jack. He's been right. switching to Dragonov and Shaheen. So I think it'll be interesting to see how these uh, how these players are able to adjust to these different characters. Yeah, and right there, Obama kept on trying to sidewalk the running twos, and it cost him. He got the one sidewalk on it, but he's about one for four now. Uh, so here we go, final round, first game. Continued running two pressure from Jackie. Wow, he just back dash once to avoid the down two follow up. That was interesting. Yeah, wow, tucked right under it. All right, there's the punish. You got to punish those. Don't let me get away oh, free. Up. He crouched Jess into a wild rising two, and now he's going to push towards the wall. Obama in great positioning here. He's gonna have to be careful. Wow. Yeah, he went for it again there. Yeah, he's doing some like like yoga aerobics on the floor and stuff. Oh man, that down for Chilo caught him out of his AOP. What's uh Leo's dance called? Uh we all call it AOP? It's not AOP, it's um Bach? It starts with a B. B okay? Is it is it Bach? Yeah. It might be, yeah. But there we go, Obama man. He broke the stage, It's like went down some kind of Bajiquan stance. Oh yeah, Bajiquan. Man. But I, I don't. Tank. That guy was good. 
It's okay. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that the guy that that um couldn't he couldn't break throws? I have no idea. In the previous game, so in the previous game, but since it was T7, oh he could break throws. Yeah, that was so cheap. I forgot about that. Yeah. This is the only way I could beat him for. And now we <laughs> can't throw him anymore. But man, Jackie Van, let's see if he switches characters here. This is early in the tournament for him. Hey, are you going to enter the au character auction? Are you going to oh, try well, to bid on a character? You know, they said that even though we're doing comp we're allowed to enter. So I yeah, yeah. I told Rick, too, because like I'm going to bid on Akuma. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, I'm going to okay, try to okay. play. It's one match. I can beat people in one match. Wow, that is crazy, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about entry. I just don't know who I'm going to bid on. Because everyone well, expects of law. Of course, but I... Renekon's also here. There's uh -huh. a bunch of law players actually here. There's a lot. That's what I'm saying. That one's to me. Maybe I'm man, too rich for my blood. You know, maybe I got to back down to a character. No one's going to pick and try to win that one. Well, not only that, everyone that enters is going to, when they find out, they're going to get a free Tekken hat if they win a character bid. Really? Yeah. Is it the same match we're wearing right now? Yes. All right, all right. So it, this, there's like a very uh, interesting way to get one of those. Wow. Costly way for some people. <laughs> oh, man. For I saw though. some of the numbers for the Street Fighter Five character auction. I saw... Uh, who, Rashid went up to $80. Dude, Laura went for 90 Chun-Li went for less than both. Dude, Laura went for 90 and he won. Wow. It was Wolf Crow. Oh, wow. Wolf Crow won the whole thing. Yeah. It's single elimination, one match, I believe, too. That's crazy, man. But, man, Jackie Van's in trouble right now. He switched to Jack and still lost. And there's a whip point to the down floor, too. Yeah. Blue attack to the wall. Yes, sir. Bing, bang, boom. Boom. And if you guys are tuning in, lots of love to everyone that helped make this possible. Combo Breaker presented by Avid. We also have uh, Team Chaos, Michael here, Mr. Slash 5150, streaming for us the entire weekend. We're going to have Tekken action all the way until Sunday. It's all going to be on twitch.tv slash Tekken. Of course, Rip's here, Steve's here, we have Eris here as well. I'll be on the mic here and there, but uh, I'm just very happy because, I mean, everyone over at Ben and Amco Entertainment made this possible. Part of the Tekken Tour. I guess the first official event of the Tekken Tour after the rules have been announced. <laughs> it's good to have one. Yeah. Man, Rick, did you text me someone give me a Tekken hat? <laughs> I tell you have to donate to my auction fund, yeah. Rick. Tell Rick to put in on that law fund because you know it's going to go <laughs> over. <laughs> I'm probably going to bid 100 on Akuma. Damn, you just going to go in? Yeah, I think I'm going to bid 100 on Akuma. Wow, what if someone like Justin outbids you? <laughs> yeah, he could have it then. <laughs> he could have it. I already have a Tekken hat. I don't care. <laughs> did I he get one from Tekken Talk? No, he didn't. Oh my so God. he doesn't have a hat yet. Yeah, Jackie looking much better here, though. Uh-oh. No block. You can just frame block that. It's actually probably easier in this game as well. Jack's one, one, From one what one I heard, yeah. But oh, oh, my God. Rage it looks available. like the, the switch is helping out Jackie Chen immensely right now. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. Did he hit him? No. Wow, that would have been really crazy. I mean, he didn't, he didn't have health to absorb it. Yeah, he didn't right have enough health. It had, it had to have been a whip punish or interrupt. Right. So just like that, Jackie Chan coming back, able to get the, the set evened out. Yeah, so sometimes you got to stick to your guns, man. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know how long he's been practicing with Dragonov. Maybe you know he spent a lot of time with them, but obviously the fact that he even switched back to Jack shows he's got a comfort level there. Yeah. And uh, actually, I'm really excited for uh, the rest of this month. This month and next month for the Tekken Tour are going to be pretty exciting. So right after this event, next week, we are going to Philadelphia. Yeah, we'll be there. So we'll be in Philadelphia, which I think is a, a great hotbed for Tekken talent. There's supposed to be a lot of players from the East Coast heading out there. Right. I mean, and that event for Wizard World itself is gigantic. It's a four-day event. You do the three-day event. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know if I'm A bunch of the Avengers are going to be there. David Duchovny. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be playing Overwatch all weekend. Guys, right? <laughs> yeah. Have you been playing? I only, I do. The first day came out, I played eight hours straight. First Ooh, time ever. Good and, eight uh, hours? It was a good eight hours, yeah. yeah. I just got to get home, but I can play it one more day on Tuesday and then come back to Wizard World. <laughs> I oh think that's what God. we're going to do on the first day of Wizard World before the Tekken uh, event starts is we're going to all practice and Damn. play some Overwatch. Right, maybe I'll bring my laptop. I'm well, bringing mine for sure. Fight. But yeah, character switch definitely paying off a Jack fan. All right, now volcano I Volcano Buster oh, wow, on the Volcano okay. stage. He had a brain fart there. He was like, do I do attack combo <laughs> or what? <laughs> New game, man. You got to relearn things. Yeah. Oh, good patience there. He recognizes probably a string. New move. Debug, though. Nice. If you guys oh are tuning in at home, make sure you guys spread the word. Let everyone know. Twitch.tv slash Tekken. Hey, we're going to have more episodes of Tekken Talks. I wanted to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking our next one, um, we're going to probably do it in uh, right after E3. Right after E3. Right after E3. Right after E3, E3, E3. Is, man, that's the middle of this month. That's Round really soon, three. like two weeks. Yeah. Holy moly. Um, it'll be at uh, probably at Wizard World in Sacramento. I'm thinking oh, that's the best place to do it the event? There. I think so. Well, okay. Are you guys going to have a traveling set? Uh, no, well, 
<laughs> it's funny that you mentioned that. So the same production team that did Tekken Talk is the same production team that does the Wizard World events. Oh, okay, <laughs> so okay. it makes sense. It'll be easy. All right, all right. That sounds cool. I think it'll be fun. Are you going to try and do like the whole Street Fighter versus Tekken person? Is that like the format of the show? Or no, do you not have definitely format? not the format. We just wanted to have two guests. I know Justin uh, has been wanting to play Tekken for a while, so it was mm -hmm. a good way to actually have him a chance, have, give, give him a chance to play Akuma and try him out. And he actually think he did pretty damn well. He did super well. I mean, Anakin was pissed. He's, <laughs> he's all claiming he wasn't mad, but you saw his face. He was mad. Yep. Oh my god, he doesn't know the combo. No, he doesn't. But he's, he's looking have to good figure it out. Oh my god. Oh, oh good job. Just like that. Clutched it out. So Jackie Chad moves on in the winner's bracket. We'll see him later on today. Yeah, but again, veteran, man. Pool play. Yeah, that was scary for him, man. He added that he had to pull out that jack. He's like, Dragonhouse got this. He's good in this game. Jack sucks in this game. And then look what happens. Yeah. Look what happens. He knows how to use Jack.